Hi, Christine Marie Quiglis, the period empress. We are focusing on the peacemaker, po the peacemaker phase today in our series of phase specific poses. We are going to break this down into three parts. The first part is going to be 10 minutes so that those of you who are just at the beginning of your journey with yoga and want to develop a daily habit can do 10 minutes of yoga, have a complete set of poses, and then get on with your day, your life, whatever you're doing. We'll move into the second mountain, which will be about 20 minutes, where we will focus on more balancing poses and some back work. And then finally, we'll end with our third mountain, which is going to be about 15 minutes, and we will focus on our back and some closing stretches. Let's begin with just uh, setting the tone of the space by singing Om Namaha Shivaya. If you're not comfortable with that, please just um, take a moment to set whatever uh, energy you would like to assign to your practice for today. Om Namaha Shivaya, Om Namaha Shivaya. Om Namaha Shivaya, Shivaya, Shivaya Namaha, Shivaya Namaha, Shivaya Namaha, Om Namaha Shivaya. Let's get right into it. Inhaling, stepping to the front of the mount of the mat, letting your hands come to your sides. We're gonna inhale, two arms overhead in reverse swan. Slight arch of the back, hands meeting in prayer at the top. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to straight back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, stepping back to plank. Exhale, you can uh, bend, to, bend your arms to bring yourself to chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. If this is your first, if this is the beginning of your day, inhale, exhale, fold, inhale, pushing back to downward facing dog. Hold here for a minute. Let's just take two Nice, solid breaths. And if you are comfortable with Ujjayi breathing, now is the time when you could add it. Inhale, pushing into the balls of the foot, of the feet. You can jump or walk to the front of the mat to forward bend, exhale, inhale, flat back, exhale, fold, inhale, rooting to rise, hands come up overhead, exhale, hands to parasamasiddhi, he, inhale, hands come to either side. Now let's inhale, and as we do, we're going to bend our knees over our toes, and we're going to let our fingers scrape the ground as we and letting using that scrape to sort of push our tilt our butt back towards the ground to prepare for hero pose also known as chair we're going to scoop the pelvis so that it's moving towards our feet and that allows our tailbone to tip down towards the ground which allows us to sit lower and we're just going to bring the arms up overhead, keeping those shoulders pinned towards the core, keeping that space between your ears and your shoulder tips, keeping the breath steady, stretching through the hands. Taut and tame means that we're not going to lock our arms, but we are going to feel energy moving through them. Inhale, you can finish this pose by looking at the sky. Exhale. Inhale, straighten the legs towards straight, not locked. Arms come up overhead, slight back bend. Exhale, fold all the way to folding to um, folded pose, folded bend. Inhale, flat back. 
Exhale, jump or walk back to plank and then chaturanga or knees, chest, chin, whatever your preference. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot comes to the sky. Exhale, knee is going to guide the legs and we're going to lightly place the foot between our hands. Inhale, we're going to turn our left foot, placing our right foot between our hands. We're going to turn our left foot so that our right heel and the arch of our left feet, foot are on the same line, the same axis. Putting our hands on our hips, we're going to square our hips towards the front of the mat, towards our right foot, trying to keep that 90 degree bend and making our stance shorter if we cannot keep that bend. Inhale, two arms up for warrior one. Holding this and breathing through warrior one. You're welcome to bring the hands overhead to steeple grip or leave them open, bringing the gaze between the two hands or looking towards the sky. Shoulders down, keeping that bend, keeping that constant intention to keep the, the hips square towards the front of the mat. Inhale, we're gonna rotate and open. We might open the stance. We're gonna open to warrior two. And in warrior two, we still wanna focus on keeping that 90 degree relationship between our heel and our knee. And we're gonna keep that nice edge parallel to the back of our mat and try to, try not to be too far back, but also try not to be too far forward. So right about here, feeling a little bit of energy moving you, pulling you that direction. Inhale, let's, let's move to reverse warrior, letting the left arm wrap around the waist. Exhale, inhale. Feeling a little bit more stretch by focusing on that right hip, sort of anchoring down towards the ground. And if we focus on anchoring the right hip, boom, it opens up space in our right side body. Exhale, both arms back to warrior two. Inhale, I want you to bring your left hand on your hip and you're gonna push into that right foot and push into half moon. I need to make some space, so that's why I had to pull back a little bit, but you should just be able to just keep, just rotate your weight forward and onto that right foot, remembering not to let the knee lock, but to keep energy moving through it. Our left foot is karate chopping the back wall. And from here, you can leave your hand on your hip. You can bring your hand to the sky and you're welcome to bring your right hand off of the ground and find the balance there, allowing the focus, oh, I just fell over, allowing the focus to be either on your, on the ground, uh, towards the, wall, parallel to the wall, or towards your raised left hand. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, bring two hands to the ground. We're gonna square the hips again, just like we did for warrior one. But this time we're gonna keep the hips square and we're going to ask the left heel to climb towards the sky, really focusing on keeping the hips square and feeling that stretch. You can let your hands come to flat and you can try to bring your upper body towards your supporting right leg. One more stretch through, inhale, and let the left foot meet the right foot in folded forward bend, pushing to flat back. 
exhale, bend forward, inhale, rooting to rise, two arms up overhead, reverse swan dive, hands meeting in prayer, exhale, hands to prayer through heart center, samasthiti he, inhale, hands come to either side, exhale, inhale, rooting to rise, hands up overhead, exhale, fold, inhale, flat back, exhale, fold, Inhale, jump back, chaturanga, or walk to plank. Exhale, upward facing dog. Inhale, pushing back to downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale, left foot rises to the sky, keeping those hips square if you can. Exhale, knee guides the leg through the arms and foot places between the two hands. Exhale. Inhale, rotating the right foot so that it's parallel to the back of the mat, keeping that 90 degree relationship with the knee and the ankle, shortening the stance if you need to, two hands on the hips to correct that squared hip so that we inhale to warrior one. Feeling the breath here, feeling the pull. Mm. Deepening into every place where you're in contact with the ground. Feeling the three points of the foot in close contact with the ground. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, this time we're going to rotate the hips so that, and widen the stance to warrior two on the left side. Inhale, inhale feeling that stretch. Feeling that left hip point anchoring towards the ground to give yourself more space in the left side body as we inhale and move into reverse warrior. Exhale, inhale, stretching, exhale, relaxing into that stretch, inhale, unwrapping back to warrior two, exhale, pushing into that left foot, bending strongly into that knee, right hand goes on the hip and we push ourselves into half moon, letting the right hand extend to the sky or stay on the hip, letting the left hand come to half prayer at the heart, if you want to balance there, or if you want to focus on your focus, you can play with where your gaze lies towards the ground, towards the side wall, towards your right hand. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, bring two hands, square your hips, two hands come to the mat on either side of the left foot. In exhale, inhale, straightening through those squared hips. Reaching up and out if you so desire. Exhale, folding your upper body towards your left leg and pushing that right heel into the sky, but keeping the hips square. Height does not matter as much as alignment. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, bring the right foot to meet the left foot. Inhale, bring your seat down to the ground, exhale, folding back into plow pose. Inhale, climbing into shoulder stand. If that is in your practice, do not look at the screen right now. You must protect your neck in plow pose. Your gaze always is to the sky.
walking the hands up the back to bring your shoulder stand straighter and straighter. You're welcome to point your toes, Barbie, Barbie feet your toes, flex your feet. Whatever is comfortable, keeping that taut and tame energy moving through the legs, allowing the blood to circulate through the whole body. Inhale, bringing the legs back to plow however you wish, unfolding or getting an ab exercise out of it by lowering the straight legs towards the ground. Bring the toes to, to look back towards the front of the mat, bending them so that they are facing the front of the mat. You're now on the balls of your feet. And now you're gonna grab your hands and then bring your hands to your ankles and lower yourself down, rolling through the spine. Rolling, 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 rolling. Rolling yourself up and let's see what the time is. 15. I promised you 10 minutes, but it turned out to be 15. So I'll put a disclaimer on the video for that. And now is the end of our first mountain. Please take a Shavasana for one to two minutes if you are stopping here. And if you're continuing, let's get into the next part. 